As a lifeguard, you must always be prepared to enter the water and make a rescue. When you notice that someone in the water needs help, follow this general procedure. First, activate the emergency action plan. Next, enter the water if necessary and approach the victim. Perform an appropriate rescue. Move the victim to a safe exit point and remove them from the water. Provide emergency care as needed and report, advise, and release. We will discuss this general procedure throughout the course, but we'll begin by discussing entries and approaches. Entries and approaches are designed to get you into the water and to the victim as safely and quickly as possible. To decide which entry to use, consider the depth of the water, the height of your lifeguard station, obstacles in the water, the victim's location, and the victim's condition. A slide-in entry may be used if the water is shallow, the pool is crowded, or you suspect a head, neck, or spinal injury. To perform a slide-in entry, sit on the edge of the pool deck and face the water, placing the rescue tube on the pool deck or in the water. Lower your body, feet first, into the water. Then, grab your rescue tube. Immediately position the rescue tube across your chest and secure it under your armpits. Maintain focus on the victim and begin your approach. In this case, a walking approach is used. Enter the water using a stride jump when you're less than three feet above the water surface and the water where you'll enter is at least five feet deep. Perform a stride jump by first squeezing the rescue tube across your chest and under your armpits, holding the tube's excess line. Lean slightly forward with your chest ahead of your hips and focus on the victim as you leap into the water with one leg forward and one leg back. Use a scissor motion to squeeze your legs together in the water, which provides an upward thrust to limit submersion. Hold the excess line so it doesn't get caught on anything and keep your sight on the victim to begin your approach. In this example, a modified front crawl is used. In shallow water, a compact jump may be used to enter the water from the deck or from low heights. For entry heights above three feet, the water depth should be at least five feet to avoid forceful contact with the bottom. To perform the compact jump, tightly squeeze the rescue tube across your chest and under your armpits. Hold the excess line so it doesn't get caught in anything and jump out and away. Focus on keeping your knees bent and your feet together and flat in the water, which will help you absorb the shock if you hit the bottom. Allow the rescue tube to bring you back to the surface. When you surface, re-establish your line of sight on the victim and begin your approach. In this instance, a modified breaststroke is used. Remember that entering the water from an elevated stand may not be safe if your zone is crowded or the stand's position or design makes a jump risky. If a jump is unsafe, climb down the stand and enter from ground level. Use the run and swim entry to enter the water from a gradual slope with a zero depth edge, like at a wave pool or a natural shoreline. To perform a run and swim entry, securely hold your rescue tube and excess line as you run into the water, lifting your knees high to keep from falling. At the point you can no longer run, place the rescue tube across your chest and under your arms as you lean forward and begin swimming towards the victim. Alternatively, you can drop the rescue tube into the water and begin swimming, letting it trail behind you. Do not dive or plunge headfirst into the water, as this could cause a serious head, neck, or spinal injury. The objective of a rescue approach is to safely, quickly, and effectively move towards the victim in the water. In most cases, the best way to approach a victim is to swim towards him or her with your rescue tube under your armpits and torso. Use a modified breaststroke or front crawl and keep your head up with the victim in sight. 
As you swim, maintain control of the rescue tube. If, however, the tube slips out from under you, let it trail behind you. Then, without taking your eyes off the victim, reposition the tube in front of you just before making contact with the victim. You can also let the tube trail behind you as you approach a victim if the swim is a longer distance. Again, you would reposition the tube in front of you just before reaching the victim. If the victim is in shallow water, it may be faster and more efficient to walk to them. Walk as quickly as possible. If necessary, position the tube in front of you just before making contact with the victim. Practice performing an entry with an approach as well, doing both together as you would in a real emergency. Performing entries and approaches together will help you master the smooth transitions needed for fast and efficient rescues. If the victim is in extreme shallow water, the fastest way to approach the victim may be to quickly walk or run to them. If you are using a rescue tube, position it in front of you just before making contact with the victim. <laughs>